the diamond Ian White, number six seed here in Mulheim, taking on one of the unseeded players, the 21-year-old Austrian, Roby John Rodriguez. A young man who is not short of confidence and not short of talent either. This lad can play, as he's already demonstrated this weekend. 6-1 wins over James Hubbard and Simon Whitlock, the former European champion. Can he go on to his first European Tour quarter-final? He has managed to make a semi-final on the Senior Pro Tour this year. Not well, very long ago either. He was in Wigan in July, just before the break. So he knows what it takes to go to the latter stages of a senior event. Could be a first for him on the European Tour, though, to make it through to the final session of action this evening. Winner of this one faces either James Wade or Robert Thornton. Thornton, the most recent winner on the European Tour. James Wade, seven-time major winner. Dan Dawson calling this one for you, and alongside me, Rob Malarkey. Yeah, Rabbi John Rodriguez, the sole surviving qualifier after... The earlier departures today of Jason Lovett, Christo Reyes, just beaten agonisingly by Mervyn King, and Kevin Painter also said farewell earlier today as well. First. So, Rabbi John Game flying on. the flag for the men who've had to do it the hard way, coming through qualifying as he did on Thursday night here, up against the number six seed who had a terrific win against Stephen Bunting yesterday, 6 3 in the opening match of the second All session. 140. White the Odds on favourite for this one. But uh, as Dan said, Rodriguez 55. will have taken plenty from his two performances so far. Hit 4 1 8 is in beating Whitlock 6 1 yesterday. A 1 1 8 checkout also catching the eye as well. He missed the ball for a 170 finish as well. 86. Yeah, it's a very impressive display from Herbie John. Good player. 77. Has beaten Ian White before. And beat him in the European Tour in single finger. That was in the second round. Beat him 6-3. However, the other two times they've met is Ian White. Fires oh, in a 180. First one of the match. Nice. Yeah, the other two times they've met Ian White. It's given him a bit of a hiding. 6-1 mm. on both occasions. 99. Ian White, 95. 95 for Ian White. Trouble 19 for double 19. And 16 will leave in tops. 55. Yeah, big cushion for Ian White. 140. Roby John making a slight impression with a ton 40, but uh, Ian White should finish this off, and he does. He's a player who's had a fairly tough time of it in Europe this year. He suffered a shock defeat by qualifier Joe Mernon in his opening match in Hildesheim, he suffered similar early exits in Gibraltar and Munich, he got thrashed 6-1 by qualifier William O'Connor in the second round in Munich. He did manage to win a match finally in Venright, that was against Jeffrey Desvan, but then lost 6-3 to Kim Hybrex. 83. Although he did make the semi-finals in Risa, his best performance in Europe this year, yeah. lost to Michael Smith that day. Yeah, the eventual champion. 84. But make no mistake, Ian White has been making steady progress over the last few months and years, up to number nine in the world. Made the quarterfinals of the match play, the only player really to 81. worry Michael Van Goering during the whole nine days. Yeah, 16-13 that day. Yeah, and having led 13-12 and 6-1. 140! That was his biggest payday of 2015. 17 and a half grand he trousered for that. Beat Bunting uh, in Blackpool as well, en route to the last eight. Beating Bunting the last four times in there. <laughs> Something of a bet noir for the bullets is Ian Diamond Watt. Good response from Roby John Rodriguez. Gets himself down to a finish in this second leg as he looks to hold throw and make it one apiece. One hundred and forty. Are we going one hundred and fifteen? Fifty-nine. Doesn't give himself a dance. In you require fifty-seven. So Ian White for a break of throw and a two-nil lead. Thirteen dart in the first leg. 
could be a 14 darter here. And it is. And in the diamond wide finds himself 2 0 up, and Roby John Rodriguez, well, prior to this game, he'd only lost two legs all weekend. So to throw first. he is going to find game things on. significantly tougher than he has done so far. I'm not sure what he's doing at the back there. Look at this, composing himself. Thought he was doing Pilates for a moment there. Uh, Ian White had back-to-back uh, -back 12 darts uh, legs in that win against Bunting yesterday, and he's off to a flyer in leg three as well. He's uh, carrying on where he left off in the closing stages of that Bunting match. He found an extra gear to see off the bullet. Well, none other than Phil Taylor has recently been talking up Ian White. That was at the match play. He was saying, look, People are going to have to stop giving this guy his respect because he's number nine in the world for a reason. He's winning 96. games against top players all over the place. He's yet to make a big semi final, you know, a big major TV semi final. He's made a number of quarter finals. That's the next step he's got to make. The three PDC titles to his name, an absolute hat full of finals. 60. Uh, three finals this year. He's lost to Chizzy, Taylor himself. He lost to Yella Clarsen as well in one of them. Yeah. 92. So if he can convert a few of yeah, those, 161. he could continue on this upward curve. No need to go for this, but maybe he may as well. No, this is the trouble seven scene, but he will be back anyway. 97. Forty-six. Now, Robbie just uh, struggling here for some. You require sixty-four. Significant numbers and struggling also just to compose himself and settle himself down. And that is nicely done again by Ian White. Very, very smooth. And in the blink of an eye, he's established a 3 0 lead, and Rodriguez does not know what day of the week it is out there. He is not missing anything, Ian White. Ninety. Roby required twenty-four. Double twelve for Roby John, and there it is. Sixteen darts over. Importantly, a leg on the board, and this gives him some kind of foothold in this game. Just encouraging the crowd to get stuck into it. I like this. He is a showman, this lad. He's not had a great deal to celebrate and show off about in the first three legs of this one, but he's got something now. One hundred and forty. He's got something, but he needs to find something else. do with a break of throw here he's going the Whoa! right way about it with a 180 his first of the match that's got the crowd even more on side hinted at a nine data already this weekend Roby John almost pulled off the maximum check out as well let's see how he goes on here don't think he'll be too concerned about a nine dart finish I think he'll just want to win the leg 100. Well, he's followed up with something, a ripple of applause. He's got his nose in front here. Ian White. It's taken a moment. It's 114 scored. 130. Well, not least the 167, so it was uh, carefully mapped out by uh, Ian White. 93 in your record, 167. Now, can either of these guys take out the big checkouts? Wrong bed. 43, Roby, you record, 128. Initiative surrendered. Roby John, what have you got? It's the treble. Hits it again. Misses oh, the double. We saw Michael Smith take that out earlier on. 
Christo Ray is going to go in and run the double four. ten inside. But Ian White, that last visit of 43 means this is a lot trickier than it perhaps should have been. He may only get a dart at the bullseye if that. Treble 18 for the ball. Gets the treble. Does 99. not get the bullseye and Roby John for a break of slow. Could double be a five. pivotal moment of the match. He split that double two then to reduce the deficit to Six. three two and Ian White lives again. In your well, Rabbi John, if he's to stand any chance of going any further, he needs to take his opportunities. Might not get too many opportunities like that. Double four for Ian White. There you go. Ian White punishing Rodriguez there for his failure to take out that double opportunity of his own. Well, if he does lose this match, Rodriguez will look back at that moment and think that was where it, it really could have changed. He'd have been throwing for a level score at three apiece in this leg. Had he converted that opportunity. 43. It is not over yet, though. Going to his home country of Austria next weekend. And we'll be competing in Innsbruck. First for the European Tour is Ian White. Oh, Fires in his third oh, maximum oh, of the match. Oh, yeah, so we don't know if Roby John will be competing oh, there. We'll have to go through the host nation qualifiers. They'll be on the Thursday night. And the likes of Mentor Sulevich and about three dozen other Rodriguez's mm -hmm. will probably be trying to go through Roxy James and maybe Rusty Jake. 140. Well, Ian White is uh, looking good for a break here. 180 backed up by a ton 40. 92. Rodriguez yeah, still in contention though on his throw. Ideal start for him. Just looking to set this up, and that brings up top. So Rodriguez needs this. Well, that would have left top, so he found it, but he didn't. And you suspect it could be game over as far as this leg is concerned. Three bites at tops for Ian White for a 5 1 advantage. Not a bad first marker, just guiding it underneath. He's gone too far. 30. Oh, well, well, well. Romeo required 24. <laughs> 12. One from seven on his doubles, Rodriguez. He's had his chances. Ian White can count himself a little bit fortunate to be thrown for 5 1 here. Double one. Game Gets it. In a and that might be curtains. Ian it's White. very rare that you see such a show of emotion from Ian White. Usually he has a sort of inscrutable so visage of a dog trying to understand calculus when he's on stage. But just a little outburst from the diamond there. I think a little bit of frustration at his own missed doubles, coupled with the relief of going within one leg of the quarterfinals. 95. Well, Rodriguez, 81. I think deep down, will appreciate that the game could well be up here. He'll keep on plugging away, but he, he's trying to get the crowd going, isn't he? You can see him gesturing to them. I think he may need more than that. 100. He might need one of them to get out of the crowd, get on stage and throw his doubles for him, because that's where he's messed things up, Roby John. 100. One out of seven. See the body language of Rodriguez as well. 30. Go. 
more like it. That's the Ravi John Rodriguez we know and admire. And a bit of noise in the hall as they try to lift their man. Pretty much insulting them, goading them all the way through the World Cup when he was playing <laughs> Jihan Arto. But oh, now then! Double ten. Double ten. Double jeopardy Here once again. One from eight. Just had that momentum, didn't he? That would have been something nice for him. Oh, 28. Ten. Horror show of a visit for the Diamond. And Roby John Rodriguez punches in. It's a 13 Ruby goals Ruby. and a break of throw. And Roby John Rodriguez is not quite Ruby done Ruby just Ruby yet. First. Well, Ian Game White on. might win this match 6-2, but at times he's mixed some sublime stuff with some horror visits. Well, at 3-0 up, he was averaging closer to 110 than 100 and playing superb stuff. Three for three on his doubles. Since then, he's two from eight on his doubles. His scoring has been patchy to say. I mean, that is a long way off, that one. Yeah. Oh, and the averages have completely flip-flopped as well. Rodriguez with a slightly higher average at the moment. You see, you know, 13, 14, 14, you think Ian White, he's just going to carry on at that level. He is, you know, phenomenal at just maintaining a very solid, consistent level of darts. Oh, high, high average. A bit like Andy Hamilton used to do. But it's just kind of fallen away, and he's benefited from Roby John's poor finishing. That's allowed him to take that 5-1 lead, and I think it's 16. probably going to be too much for Roby John to come back from. But strange things happen in this game, particularly when the crowd start getting involved. And oh, they are trying to lift their man. And it's set up another cracker, the biggest check out of the lot. He went very close yesterday. And it's clear they want to uh, win here. I think they just want to uh, see this one go a little bit further because if he picks up another leg here, it's potentially got the ingredients for something special. It's another one that's pretty wild. An overcompensation for Ian White right there as he moves left and moves far too far left. And he's down to a finish eventually. But Rowby is also down to a finish and he takes out top score, a 5-3 deficit. And all of a sudden it's the Austrian who has the momentum. He looks absolutely crestfallen at one stage. Looks as though he couldn't wait to get off the stage. Crouching down on his haunches earlier on. He's positively bouncing around at the moment. Real spring in his step, and he couldn't wait to get to the hockey. Well, this is a massive lag, this one. 85. Absolutely huge. If Roby John is to break here, he'd be throwing to level the match in 5 all. Ian White, for his own personal stress levels, just wants to get this done. And Ah, oh, wonderful, oh, wonderful. Oh, That's why he's a top ten player in the world. Yep, he's put all those horror visits behind him there. 58. The fourth maximum from the diamond and just 58 from Rodriguez. And this is the Englishman's to lose now and he's back in there. What a leg of darts this is. No. What a leg uh -huh. of darts this is from Ian White. Brilliant. Oh, back to back maximums. Oh, Right smile again from Rabi. He can't believe that uh, White has responded the way he has, but perhaps he should have half expected it. Ian White closing in now, double 16 for a place in the quarterfinals of the European Darts Trophy here in Mulheim. And there it is. I think he'll be breathing a big sigh of relief for number six seed. But Ian White is through, raced into a 3 0 lead early on, and then suddenly hit the buffers. Rowby threatened at 5 1 down. He came back to within 5 3. But back to back 180s really killed him off in the closing stages. Credit to Rowby John, another decent performance from him in the European sort. Hopefully, we'll see more of him later this week in Austria in his own town.
for his own patch. Ian White will be there as well, make no mistake about that. And he too will be on stage this evening for the quarterfinals against either James Wade or Robert Thornton. They're up next. Yeah, he's got a lot of talent. He's going, to, he's going to be OK in a few years, but, you know, leave it for us for now and then he can do it later on. But, yeah, he's, he's a good player. He's a very good player. Ian, and suddenly you were a top ten player. What is, what is actually the secret of your success? <laughs> is it the consistency? Yeah, it's just a consistent. If you look back since January, I've been getting semi-finals, quarter-finals and that. So it's been moving me up the rankings. But, yeah, yeah everything's going great for me and I'm, I've just got to keep going, doing what I'm doing and... Hopefully the end of the year, Barry might say something, you never know. Uh, James Wade or Robert Thornton? A different match, you know these guys very well? Yeah. One to prefer, no? Nah, you don't, you don't prefer who you've got. You know, you just got to go there and play your game. And if I can hit 100 average, then hopefully we can go through to the semi-final. See you later again, thank you very much. Ian White!